Hey there, Bipti here. For another short tutorial, this time a bit more complicated. Let's see if we can create a turret and make it shoot where the player is shooting right now. First of all, we will need a turret and we will need a microprocessor. Then we will not need to bind it to the turret. And here's something which was posted in the comments of a previous video. Shout out to Niels. First of all, we need to make a radar. We want from Duo 1. So basically we're telling it, hey, this turret we just built, try to find a player nearby. Um, any type really, like any player will do. <laughs> and order it in some way and sort it by distant and give it me as a result in a variable. Then we need to find out a few things about this player. This happens with sensors. First of all, we need to find out where it's shooting by X. Here is, um, we're basically saying, give me the shoot X of the results and save it in a variable called shoot X as well. Then we are going to copy it, doing the same for Y. So we are saving one for the Y, one, one for the X. And then we want to know if the player is shooting right now. The shooting right now is another variable. Then we have got three variables saved. And the last thing to do is we need to control the turret. It's a dual one turret and we want it to shoot where the player X is shooting and the player Y. And we want it to be shooting when the player is shooting. So um, you see when we move the mouse, the turret is pointing the same way and when if we are shooting it's going to shoot the same spot we are targeting. Cool! This is a nice beginning. Let's see if we can create something bigger. Let's create a meltdown. It needs some liquids and some power. A liquid source is going to be this. Infinite power is always good. There we go. Now we have everything. Now we need to rewrite the program everywhere where there's a dual one. It needs to be a meltdown one. I'm going to copy it. And we're going to control it. So these two places, meltdown and meltdown. Now, if everything worked correctly, you can see it's following the mouse. Now we have control over the, the sun. Come on, shoot more. Yes. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have fun. Of course, it only works so far. So if we are outside of this radius and we are shooting, the turret does not know because the, um, the radar instruction requires the player to be within the range of the turret. But otherwise, um, that's pretty cool. I see a few ways you can use this. All right. If you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.